Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my first Q&A video. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this crazy time right now. I wanted to do something a little bit different for you. I tried to pick a mix between questions I get asked all the time and some that I've actually never been asked that you might find the answers pretty interesting. So let's get right into it. What was the first song you learned on the guitar? First song I learned on guitar all the way through. I don't remember like the, the first, you know, set of chords or, um, or first like riff or anything, but the first song I learned all the way through start to finish was Crazy Train. What was the first guitar you've ever purchased? The first guitar I ever purchased was my Ibanez S5470 Prestige. First guitar I ever bought with my own money when I was 14 years old. How old are you and how tall are you? I am 26 years old and my government issued ID says I am 1.7 meters, which converts to five foot seven. My boy Lucan, would you rather have 10 dick fingers or one finger dick? Everyone that knows me knows how much I love to harass all my friends with the would you rather questions. I am gonna confidently go with one finger dick because having dicks for every finger on your hand all the time is, it's just gonna be miserable. It's just not gonna be a fun time. <laughs> Why is no one talking about how much you look like Christian Bale? People do talk about that. I think I get a comment on that every single day. How do you learn songs so fast? Are you a Tabs music guy or do you learn mostly by ear? So when I go to do a new cover, I basically bust out any resource that I possibly can, whether it's the text guitar tabs, guitar pro, I'll find guitar only files, watch other people's covers, any single resource that I can find that's gonna allow me to create the most accurate depiction of the cover that you guys requested. Is YouTube your full-time job and what was your job before YouTube? YouTube is my full-time job. It has been exclusively my full-time job since November of 2019, and I was a chemical process operator for five years. Which guitarist influenced your playing style the most? Andy James is a really big one. He's now a good friend of mine, and Sinister Gates is the second guitar player that comes to mind. Oh, Eddie Van Halen, third. Who's your photographer? My two main photographers that I've worked with are Chris Howe and Luke and Coots, and they're two really good friends of mine. I love those guys and they are so talented. Make sure you check them out on Instagram and YouTube. What's your best advice for growing a social media following? I wrote an article for ultimateguitar.com on this exact topic. I'll make sure I link it in the description. Hey Cole, love the channel. If you had to pick an inspirational quote, what would it be? The first one that comes to mind is, luck is when preparation meets opportunity because I don't believe in sheer luck. Are you planning to make your own guitar dubstep crossover music soon? I've actually already done this and the song is called Equinox on my YouTube and Spotify and Lauren was actually in the music video for it. We shot it with our friend Brendan a long time ago. What's the hardest thing for you in your guitar learning? There's a lot of things that still challenge me to this day big time. Um, when I went to go learn Cliffs of Dover, all of the hybrid picking in that kicked my ass. What has been your favorite cover you've ever done and why? My favorite cover that I've ever done and I keep gravitating towards this has been Dark Side by Alan Walker. I feel like the guitar just worked with that song. There's an originally no guitar in it or very little guitar. So um, it allowed me to get super creative and really just build a brand new vibe to that track. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> I got asked this a couple times. Uh, at this moment, I am currently single. How do you edit your videos? I edit everything in Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. Favorite shoe brand? Well, I'll just confine this just to sneakers. Uh, as Adidas, I have a couple pairs of Adidas Ultra Boost and some Easy 350s, and I absolutely love all of them. No question, I love your work. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Who's the artist that has influenced you the most and why? Okay, I'm gonna probably give a bit of an unconventional answer to this because I'm gonna pick two friends of mine. One, Christina Sciano, she's my best friend and has helped me grow not only as an artist and in my career, but as a person in general, and she's just an incredible person. And I wanna shout out Matt McGuire on this one too because he set a crazy precedent for what is possible and it's, it's absolutely wild um, what he's been able to achieve. Which piece of music invokes the most emotion in you. The acoustic version of This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Why did I choose to get LASIK surgery? Oh my god, this is one of the best decisions I ever made. <laughs> okay, for example, if I'm shooting a video like this, I could not see the uh, display. So having clear vision has been a, a total game changer for my life in general. What's your hobbies besides playing guitar? I love personal fitness, I love skating. I'm really into like men's fashion and clothing stuff and I am really into photography and videography, which I'm very thankful and passionate about because it's really helped me um, increase the quality of my guitar videos. How long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, I've been playing the guitar for 16 years. I started when I was 10, I am now 26. 
Please let us know your gear setup. I have this linked on my website in every video description. Go to kit.co slash Cole Roland. I've made nice organized lists of all my gear for you guys. How long does it take for you to learn a new song and record a cover of it? Typically, if the song is not completely insane, like Dragon Force or Moonlight Sonata or something like that, I can do it in a day, but like the songs I just listed, they can take a long time. Like Dragon Force, I think was about a full week. How do you do your hair? Um, I get actually get asked this all the time. There's a YouTuber by the name of Alex Costa and he's got a ton of men's fashion and hairstyle, lifestyle tips. Favorite band when you were in high school? High between Bullet For My Valentine and Trivium. Those were two bands I binged so much throughout all of high school. I saw this question on Instagram and uh, I was excited to answer it. So how did you and Angel first get together? The first time that we met was on my birthday in 2017. Him and Andy James were were doing the Guitar Collective tour and I went to go hang out with Andy at the show. Angel and I hadn't previously met. I showed up and Angel was doing his meet and greet. Um, we talked about this later on and he thought I was the guitar player from Paramore because I did a Paramore cover on EMG TV. We discussed this like three years later and laughed our asses off. Did you ever consider writing your own music instead of playing other people's songs? This question drives me insane because I've written a bunch of songs. They're on my Spotify. They're on my YouTube channel. You guys got to check them out. I'm super proud of them and they take a lot of time and effort. The covers are fun, but I really am passionate and I feel like my abilities shine with the original songs. How do you feel knowing that you are the inspiration of many people out there? Love you, Cole. Dude, thank you. That makes me so happy and that is another reason um, that drives me to keep working so hard at what I love. It makes my job the most rewarding thing in the world to me. What was your game changer in your career until this day music wise? A big, big game changer was taking the risk and the leap into doing a lot more of the electronic covers because not a lot of people have done that and it's something that's fresh and exciting. When I first started doing them, there was a ton of pushback on it because people wanted to see rock or metal, but I pushed through it and it uh, it paid off and it's given me a lot of like the biggest live show opportunities and artist support that I've ever received. And that's that guys. Thank you for watching my first ever Q&A video. Shout out to my incredible Patreon supporters that make these videos possible to learn about supporting the channel. Click the link in the description down below and click the playlist to the right to watch more videos.